Hi, I'm Kat and welcome to Phil Spencer's Move IQ property channel. In this episode, we're talking you through viewing a rental property. It's pretty similar to checking out a property to buy. You're looking for a place where you'll feel comfortable and safe. Phil's property report can give you a great insight into the area. For example, who the neighbours are, the crime rates, as well as rental estimates to compare what the landlord's asking for. We've also popped a link to the report below for you. When you're viewing a rental property, take someone with you. Two pairs of eyes are always better than one. You'll be amazed at what you missed while you're busy trying to picture yourself living there. Getting a second opinion might help avoid this. Taking pictures on your phone can be useful too to help jog your memory or pick up anything you may have missed during your first visit. Pictures or even a video can be just as useful as a second opinion. Look closely at the condition of the building. If the gutters and drains are blocked, this could be an indication that the property isn't maintained well. Spend as much time as you can looking around. If you decide to move in, you'll be spending a lot longer in this building. So it's important to give your potential home a thorough examination. Try and do both a day and an evening visit. You'd be amazed at how noisy the quiet street can be during daylight hours when the shops and local gym are open. It'll also let you know which rooms get the most sunlight. Also ask about the bills. What's the council tax, for instance? How much is the monthly heating bill? Check that all fittings are working. Check the lights, water pressure and cooker. If they're not, say you'd like them fixed before you move in. You don't want to be paying to fix these. If it's a ground floor flat, you'll want locks on all the windows, as well as a mortise on the front door. Can you imagine yourself living there? Would your furniture fit? This is an important question to ask yourself. If you're moving into an unfurnished property, take a tape measure with you to ensure any furniture you have will fit in the property. Is there enough storage space for all your belongings? It's amazing how much we can accumulate without realising. Ask about the neighbours. Whether you're buying or renting, it's important to know who the neighbours are and whether you'll potentially have any problems with them. Also find out about public transport. If you've got a car, inquire about the parking situation. Not being able to park in front or nearby might be a deal breaker. If it's a shared flat or house of multiple occupation, meet your flatmates first. It's essential for you to know who you'll be living with. If possible, view the property where most other tenants are likely to be home. While it's important to organise a second viewing, if possible, it's also important to act quickly and decisively. If you like the property on the first viewing, let the agent or landlord know. Tell them how keen you are. Assure them you only want to come back at night or during the day to get a full final picture. It's important to note your interest too. There are many people looking to rent and good properties go quickly. So be mindful, it can be competitive. Therefore, it makes sense too to have all your paperwork, for example, references, bank statements, etc., prepared and money for your deposit set aside. This should ensure you can get the ball rolling as soon as you decide it's the property for you. We really hope this has been useful to you. There's plenty more of Phil's top rental tips in the smarter renting section of moveiq.co.uk. Thanks for watching and see you soon.